It was a 6,000 rupee research award with which we had to do research. And we had to buy two motors for our robotics project. Mm -hmm. And the rules were you had to get three tenders to get a little motor. You have to apply for three tenders yeah. to get it. That and Sagriya, even we forget IIT students. How do we get in IIT students? We are testing them on physics, chemistry, maths. 30 to 40 percent students are getting in from one coaching class in Kota now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we? Is there any entrance exam in the country which tests creativity and imagination? Yes, science is science. The knowledge of science is one thing, but these are people who have invented something, who's gone beyond what is existing today, not remembered things well, and you know, mm -hmm. brought them out in exams. That is never encouraged. I haven't seen anywhere in my student life. Right. Uh, that you know, pushing the envelope is encouraged. In fact, as part of Indian culture, it's discouraged. Stay in line, respect elders, keep quiet. So, which is why, which is why, even though we have a culture of knowledge, perhaps our culture of reverence is also what militates against original thinking. Because you know, everyone, whether it's Amartya Sen, whether it's uh, S. Chandrasekhar, whether it's Venkat Raman, Ramakrishnan, Hargobind Khurana, they've all had to go abroad. Uh, yeah. but, uh, actually, uh, if I might, you know, in some sense, I'm a, a sort of semi-expert in this nobleology, if you can yeah. call it, a new uh, discipline. Now, the fact is that there are a number of controversies about Nobel Prizes. In fact, in 2008, there was even a criminal investigation for the award of a Nobel Prize because they were, it was supposed to have some conflict of interest with some mm -hmm. company having come in. Now, the thing is that, you know, the, since yeah, 1990... So, they wouldn't give it to an Indian if he was a homegrown Indian working well, in Well, India. the fact is, you see, I mean, the culture of reverence, yes, you know, if you take, uh, for instance, George Sudarshan, who, yeah. according to the Wikipedia entry, ha yeah. is the, the only living person with the maximum number of Nobel nominations who has not got the prize. If you look at him, you know, uh, uh, Mashak, his supervisor, he had discovered a fundamental law of nature when he, he was 25. Mm -hmm. And his supervisor, Marshak, would not allow him to present his paper at the, the all-important Rochester conference. That is where he started. So are you saying there that this is, is a prize no. that is biased towards no, of the course there is. Of course, no, there no, is no. lobbying. Gandhi was nominated Gandhi twice. was never, never, never given but the But now prize. let's not blame, you know, what have we done that we think has truly deserved and didn't get? You know, what has right. India truly uh, invented? Let's not okay. blame the prize. Well, I just hold your thought <laughs> because we have to now uh, cut. In fact, it's our, very, uh, it's our great privilege to cut across to the uh, Diamond State Awards, which is being given by IBM 7. There you have it. And the best. State is, it has been announced. It's Kerala, in fact. The Diamond State Award has gone to Kerala. The best state. As the most number of uh, awards at the IBN 7 Diamond State Award. Kerala has always set uh, benchmarks for other Indian uh, state to follow. This is a recognition of the efforts put by everyone in my government and the encouragement to take the state to greater heights of a... The proud winner of the Diamond State Award given by IBN 7 is gone, has gone to Kerala. And there was the Chief Minister V. S. Achyudanandan there speaking very proudly about his home state of Kerala. Well, let's take a short break at this point and come back with lots more.